versatility to the Princeton offense is to run weak side flash. It's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, some of the other terminology for this set has been called blind pig action. So let's take a look at it. Weak side flash. The two is going to fill the elbow. The one has the basketball. You're in your two guard set. You call weak side flash. Two is going to flash to the elbow. Five is going to stay. And you're going to first look is going to, why would you run this? The four is overplaying. Okay, and you notice that. You don't want to wave them through. You want to attack the four. This is a simple way to do that. Run weak side flash. Two fills the elbow. The four back cuts. The first look is the handoff between the two and the four. Now you have the four on the block and the two at the elbow. If the four doesn't get it, the four can cut and then get out. Because almost simultaneously as this back cut is occurring, we want the five to step up and set almost a flex top screen for the three. Three can cut either side, but the main thing you're looking for is with the ball at the elbow with the two, the one is here, you have the five screening for the three. And sometimes you'll get this quick flex type screen and it just gives you versatility to attack. And you can also do that if you know your three has a matchup that they can post up on or if a team has difficulty guarding this action or as an after timeout play. So you look for the back cut off the, uh, off the four first, the two second look. The second look is for the three. And remember the third look is after this screen, you want your five to duck in because many times the five will help out on threes cut and you may have the pass to the five off of the duck in. Um, depending on how good a shooter, depending on how good a shooter your five is, he may not duck in. He may just stand out to 15, 17 feet. And you can catch that pass um, and shoot that as well. So weak side flash just gives you a different look uh, to attack a defense. Um, and again, if you don't get anything, if you don't get anything, you can always pass back up to the top and then have the two fill out, five fill up, and then you can get immediately into your chin series. It's really simple. It's a weak side flash. Try to get that back door. Uh, something else you can also do in weak side flash is if you want, you can have the four cut and then you can have a double cut by one. Okay. Just really quickly, let me let me show you that action because I have I have seen that in the past where four cuts one. This is just an option to take a look at. So the four cut and before this happens on the weak side, you would have the one rim cut, and as the four didn't get the basketball, so the four cut off and didn't get the basketball, you can still have the four screen in, in which case you'd have your one circle and you can execute this dribble handoff action while this flex top screen is happening. Um, so you try to turn into the middle and, uh, and you can get that. And I've seen teams do that as well. So those are some options off of weak side flash. Just adds versatility and it's a different way to attack the defense. All right, this is weak side flash. It's just a different way to attack the offense. We're gonna cut into the elbow. You're gonna stay until I catch. Pass. Now you're going to cut, we're going to look the hand off, but what we're going to also look for is while he's cutting off the handoff, we've got a weak side here flex and we can look for that. We can also look for the postman after he screens. If they switch, the postman can screen and he can duck in and he'll be open. Let's run all of that. Let's hit you off the screen, okay? All right, here we go, fellas. Weak side flash, handoff's not open. You're going to hit the post ducking in after the screen. All right, go. Good, finish, good shot.